In this video, we will solve a problem on the production function. The question is, the production function of a firm is being given as Q is equal to L to the power 0.75 times K to the power 0.75. Q is the output, L and K are the units of labor and capital, which are the inputs here, obviously. If labor is increased by 8% and capital is also increased by 8%, then output will be increased by the options are 6%. 8% more than 8% or less than 8%. Okay, now let us uh, try to solve this question on its face value. I will show two methods. Okay, so first I will show the proper method and then I will give the shortcut method. Okay, so proper method of solving this question is we are being given the production function Q is equal to L to the power 0 0.5 sorry 0 0.75 uh, times k to the power 0 0.75 okay this is our production function now let's take log on both sides that means log of q is equal to so here we have 0 0.75 times log of l this is from the law of logarithm plus we have this 0 0.75 0 0.75 times log of okay i have explained this also in the you know uh, rules of logarithm in my mathematical uh, you know lecture series so i have taken the log now take the differential on both sides so taking differential of q first the derivative of uh, log q will be 1 upon q del q is equal to 0 0.75 uh, log of L is 1 upon L from the rules of differentiation. I have also explained this uh, stuff in detail. Then we have 0 0.75. Now log of K is 1 upon K del K. Okay. Let us rewrite it slightly. So we have del Q upon Q is equal to 0 0.75 del L upon L plus 0 0.75 del k upon k now uh, this del q upon q what does it you know reflect change in output divided by initial output so this shows percentage change in output or growth rate of output so let us denote it by g okay g subscript q that means growth rate of output will be equal to 0 0.75 now what does this term tell us change in labor divided by initial labor so percentage change in labor so let's denote it by growth rate of labor plus 0 0.75 similarly or symmetrically here uh, del k upon k shows us percentage change in capital upon initial capital so this is growth rate of capital so let's denote it by g k now we are being told the growth rate of labor or percent increase in uh, you know labor is 8% so I can write 0 0.75 times 8% plus 0 0.75 and capital is also increased by 8% so growth rate of capital is also 8% okay so this comes out to be 0 0.75 of 8% so this will be six percent plus 0 0.75 of eight percent will be six percent so growth rate of output will be 12 percent so our output will increase by 12 percent what are the options we have six eight more than eight or less than eight so the correct option should be c now coming to the shortcut method that i was telling you okay you can visualize it is you know kind of a cop douglas production function this 0 0.75 what we call here alpha and this 0 0.75 let us call it beta okay uh, let me write it here if uh, the sum of exponents that if alpha plus beta is equal to one okay in this case we have constant returns to scale constant returns to scale that means if alpha and beta are increased you know by same proportion output will also increase by same proportion 
that means we have the constant that returns to scale uh, if uh, alpha plus beta the sum of the exponents is less than one we will have decreasing uh, returns to scale okay that means if alpha and beta you know if they are same it is not necessary that they should be same but if sum of the exponents is less than one we will have decreasing returns to scale and if alpha plus beta is greater than one we will have irs increasing returns to scale now here you can see 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 okay 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 is equal to so hey hey pansatata pansata zero sasarvi swadata ke panda so this comes out to be 1.5 percent and which is sorry 1.5 which is greater than zero so we will have here increasing returns to scale by increasing returns to scale means if labor you know grows by let us say two percent uh, capital also grows by two percent then our output will increase by more than two percent okay more than more than two percent this is the logic behind this okay so a simple thing if the sum of the exponents of a cobb douglas production function is equal to zero we will have constant returns to scale that means doubling the inputs will give us double the output if sum of the exponents is less than one that means if we double the inputs our output will get less than doubled and if the sum of the exponents is greater than one in this case uh, you know simply doubling the inputs will uh, lead to greater than doubled sorry uh, more than double of the output okay i hope i make myself in clear in this video thank you